salute for the Channel steamer Prince Albert, playing the role of Royal Yacht, for she brings the King of the Belgians on a state visit to Britain. To greet him at Dover comes the Duke of Gloucester, who met him first many years ago in school days, and King Leopold steps down the gangplank to the quay, where the strains of his national anthem hail him. The journey is then by train to Victoria Station, where King George VI, the Duke of Kent, the Earl of Athlone and the British Cabinet are on the platform awaiting him. It is a meeting of two young kings, in both of whose lives royal drama has played a big part. They leave the station together and drive through the streets together en route to Buckingham Palace. Crowds cheering all the way are evidence, if evidence were needed, of the strong bond of affection that unites the two kingdoms. Next day, King Leopold leaves Buckingham Palace on his drive to the city. Beside His Majesty sits the Duke of Kent, not so familiar to Londoners in his bearskin as in naval uniform. The royal route passes through the Admiralty Arch and is lined by cheering people right up to the Guild Hall, which is the King's destination. Here, his Majesty is to receive an address from the new Lord Mayor, Sir Harry Twyford, and to attend luncheon.